day people welcome back to our youtube channel the verdict tv thank you for joining today's topic today's discussion is about our president Tinubu, and it is very funny please just stick with us to listen to the content of our discussion for today the news headline we do not have instant solutions to the country's problems, President Tinubu to Nigerians. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Hey. God, I beg. God, I beg. Okay, moving on. President Bola Tinubu has told Nigerians that there is no instant fix to the country's economic crisis occasioned by the removal of fuel subsidy. He, however, assured the citizenry that there is light at the end of the tunnel and urged them to be patient. The president stated this at the unveiling of Brutally Frank, a 688-page autobiography of former Federal Commissioner for Inv Information and South-South leader, Chief Edwin Clark. Tinubu said that Nigerians' problems cannot be compared to instant coffee, adding that what the country is going through can be akin to the pain of childbirth and the joy that follows. He expressed optimism that the palliatives being ruled by the federal government would help in softening the hardship and trauma. Tinubu, who was represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Senator George Akume, described Clark as someone who belongs to the very rare form of extraordinary men the Roko of South South and the Eagle of Nigeria. Akume said, E. Tinubu has also helped me to tell this gathering that we are going through a difficult phase in the history of this country. But these pains are pains of birth, birth of a new nation, and that if you want to celebrate a mother, a baby, the mother must go through some pains. By the end of the day, there is joy, there is merriment when the baby arrives, and we will certainly be there. Solutions to problems can never be as instant as coffee, but we must certainly be there. I know the removal of fuel subsidy has created some things, but that is why palliatives are being put in place. Hundred trucks of fertilizers have been sent to the states. Hundred trucks of grains have been sent and more are still coming and more buses are still coming. We can endure this for a moment. What we are going through today is for a better tomorrow. Nations are great because citizens have hope. They have they have hope that tomorrow will be greater than today. Ah hmm. ah, uh -uh. President Inubu. How do you drop bombshells effortlessly? Like you just drop it and and you don't even feel remorseful. There is no problem. We are all facing it, right? We are all facing it. Because directly or indirectly, it still affects him. Directly or indirectly, yes. It might not affect his kids because his kids are well, they are doing well and all of that. But it will direct somebody that knows somebody, that knows them, that knows this, our senators, our president, our governors, and they are not saying anything. You know, so some people in our comment section they already dropped their thoughts and um, they wrote, they just like express themselves in writing. Um, there is this person, Ginger Banks. He says, "Ha ha ha! I told them, but they refuse. They refuse to hear word. I must vote for him. It's for my region. While him and his family is enjoying your suffering, like exactly, like you just it." You just eat the nail on the head. At the end of it all, na monkey they walk, na babu they chop. According to what I rather say. We are the ones working, we are the ones striving hard, we are the ones saying, Ha, these people, they must enter. These people, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they now enter, now they are telling us that there is nothing they can do for now. President Tinubu is literally saying that there's nothing he can do 
that whatever Nigeria is going through is um, the pain of a mother. Please, please so, if Nigeria is the pregnancy, the mother should quickly give birth because this pain is getting too much, like it has got it to the edge. It is getting too much, it is exhausting. Just the other day, um, in a local village, there is this woman that, because of um, farming, like there was no food, they couldn't have food, anything to eat and all of that. She, she got sick and as time went on, she died because she couldn't afford even drugs for her health and all of that. So like it's affecting people. It's, it's really disheartening to know that even Benin Republic is doing well in most cases compared to Nigeria. Benin Republic, yeah, is doing well than us. Like they are living fine. Electricity 24-7. Their food stuff is not expensive. They are still living normal. Their money, their currency has value than Naira. Can you imagine? Like, Benin Republic, Togo, these are countries that, even beside Nigeria, they can't stand. But now, we are now comparing each other. And they are even doing well than us. So speak the fact. Like when you go to Benin Republic and your battery life is on 2%, that like you're comfortable. There's nothing like, oh, the power will soon be out or um, I won't be able to charge my phone. I need to look for where the generator is working and all that stuff. No. Because the light is everywhere. There's light everywhere. Their food is okay. Their food items, okay. And very cheap. Unlike we Nigerians, now, in, now, pure water is even expensive. Like, if you're taking pure water in your household, ah, yes, this needs to come and investigate too, because where you they see money, not to talk of table water, bro. Like, it's that bad. And our president would sit and chew and say it doesn't have instant solutions to the country's problem. Even if you don't have instant solution. Please give us hope. Let us know that you're working on it. Let us know you're doing something. Don't just come and tell us we don't have instant solutions to. We know you are not a magician. You know, we know that Rome wasn't built in a day. But don't just come and rub it in our faces. It doesn't work that way. Ah. I don't know. I really don't know. Another person, um, Vincent, said, when I said it is... When I said it, this man is too old to handle Nigeria. People here were saying he's stronger than most of the youth. You guys don't know old age. Can make you start thinking little and not being active. Now the man is confused. Tribalism and religious now no go save people because they support this man. You will not see them commenting. They have all gone and hide because so far don't they gradually reach everybody's house. I really support Vincent. Like, I support Vincent with what he wrote. And do you know the funny thing? People that voted for these APC um, guys, do you know that most of them, they are already on their way to UK? Auntie Jackpa. That's even the, if they've not left. Like, most of them, they've already Jackpa. And the ones that have not left, they are just somewhere hiding their faces. I don't want to say that we've been scammed, but... Let's just let's just be patient. It's it's for the meantime, right? So we'll just keep appealing to the judiciary that they should please they should not they should think of our future, think of their children's future, and when they are when they are checking out the results and um, compiling the old um, IRV and the everything concerning the election, they should please open their two coro coro eyes like this and tell us the truth. Enough is enough. Enough of all this suffering. Ah, that being said, please do not, do not forget to share your thoughts in our comment section. And also, follow us on all social media platforms. And do not forget to click on the bell notification in the screen. Yes, that one. Do not forget to click on it so you would get um, recent updates concerning our 